Hi guys, Chris here from Better Exercise Physiology. In this video today, I'm going to explain to you why bed rest can actually be harmful to the recovery of your back. So firstly, joints need movement. Healthy joints need movement, and this is especially so if you've got an injury, if you've got low back pain. What you might find if you've had back pain in the past, that lying down is one of the most comfortable positions. It actually relieves a lot of the tension off the back, so it feels really good. So you want to lay down on your back to avoid that pain, but what you'll find on getting up is it's often worse. And what we know from the research is that spending a lot of time lying down when you're recovering from a low back injury is that it delays your overall recovery time. You see, when you're lying on your back, you no longer have gravity coming down and compressing the spine like we do when we're standing or when we're sitting. So when you're lying on your back, your disc is actually able to fill up with fluid. So I've got a picture of the spine here. You've got two vertebrae and the disc in between. When you're lying on your back like this, that disc is able to swell up, kind of like a bit of a sponge. It absorbs all the, the fluid and nutrients around it. It swells up and that becomes a little bit bigger in that space. When you then go to stand back upright, that disc is gonna put more pressure on the spinal nerves and all the structures surrounding the spine. What this means is that if you're lying down for a significant amount of time, anything more than 10 or 15 minutes, when you get up, you're actually gonna have more pain than what you did in the first place. It's kind of like when you wake up in the morning first thing and your back's really stiff and you just gotta get it moving. And once it's moving, it's fine. But that first hour or two, it's actually, you're actually gonna find you get more pain than what you were when you went to bed the night before. So my recommendation is to stay active with one caveat, avoid exercises that either cause you pain or exacerbate pain. For example, you might find that lifting weights or going for a run causes you more back pain. So we'll avoid those exercises. For some people, probably for a lot of people, when their back's very sensitive, even going for a walk is gonna cause you excess pain. So we're gonna avoid that as well. So you might be wondering, okay, if I can't go for a walk because that causes pain, I can't go for a bike ride or do some weights, what can I do to stay active? This is where I recommend seeing an exercise physiologist. What we do is develop exercise programs based on your stage of recovery. So very early on, we'll be starting with really gentle range of movement exercises. Once your pain levels drop down, once your mobility increases, we can increase how much movement we're getting. We then start to add in core exercises building you up to the point where you're doing all the things you love, doing all the things you enjoy without getting back pain because you've now got that strength to support your spine. So if you want more information on what an exercise physiologist can do, if you want more information on different videos, blog posts, articles, head over to betterexercise.com.au. So in summary, stay active, but stay out of bed, but avoid the things that are causing you pain. Thanks for watching.